Okay, hi. This video is about Google Webmaster Tools, the URL parameters feature. Um, URL parameters is an advanced feature designed to allow you to help Google crawl your site more efficiently by indicating how it should handle parameters within your URLs. Parameters are extensions to website URLs which are usually present to assist with page or content navigation. From Google's perspective, URL parameters can cause duplicate content, which is bad. It's bad because it can cause problems when Google crawls your site and may affect your web pages being indexed efficiently. For example, these three pages can be accessed by the same, the same page can be accessed by three different URLs. Okay. So let's take a look. So once logged into Webmaster Tools, you click on Crawl and URL Parameters. Now, you may have a message indicating you have issues or not. In this case, there's a message, uh, currently Googlebot isn't experiencing problems with coverage of your site, so you don't need to configure URL parameters. Okay, well that's all good. So in this instance, we wouldn't really need to worry about this. However, if you have a different message to this, then continue watching. Okay, here's a site with the message to indicate that there is potentially a problem with Google identifying parameters on your website. So let's note this message. Help Google crawl your site more efficiently by indicating how we should handle parameters in your URLs. Now bear in mind this is an advanced feature and improper action could result in pages not being indexed. So just bear that in mind. You'll see a table containing several columns. The first contains parameters which Google has found whilst crawling your site. The second uh, column shows how many URLs are being monitored or affected by the parameter. Let's take the parameter P in this instance here. Google's saying there's almost 9,500 URLs containing this parameter, so potentially that's a lot of duplicate content. So on this website, you can see the, the page here is uh, wine glasses, uh, uh, 10L.html. Now this page can be accessed by this URL with a P equals 2, P equals 3, etc. So this is basically indicating here that the page is being paginated or it's a long list of items and you're paginating through page one, two or three. However, the URL in essence is the same. It's just the parameters that are changing to indicate which page to paginate to. So basically this page here could be accessed by however many page numbers there are, including the all, P equals all. So potentially this one page could be accessible for possibly you know, 10 different URLs. So what can we do about this? Well, if we edit the parameter, we have the following option of informing Google what this parameter does. So let's click Edit. The default option is telling Google it doesn't affect the page content. For example, select this option if the parameter is a session ID, for example. If you click on show example URLs, you'll see some instances of the parameter on your site. And here we can see that the page wox482l.html has several instances of the P parameter. On this site, the user can paginate across several pages of Wox. If your page content is being affected by the parameter as above, then we select Yes. The following options are available. Um, 
sorts. For example, displays product listings sorted by name, by brand, or by price, high and low, etc. Narrows displays a subset of content specified by the parameter, for example, filters. Uh, this could be for shoes in size 9. Specifies. Specifies what the page is about. For example, the subject, audience, item number. Translates. Displays content in a particular language. For example, English or French. Um, but specified by a parameter. Paginates displays a specific page uh, of a long article or list of items. And we saw an example of that in the uh, example on the Havens website. Or, final option, other. So, in this instance, we'll select paginates. And now we have some further options. First option, let Google decide. Well, this, select this option if you're unsure of the parameters behavior or if the behavior changes for different parts of the site and the Google bot will analyze your site to determine how best to handle the parameter. And there are these, the, the, the help or the question marks here which just give you a, a kind of overview of what they actually uh, are, are for. Next option here, every URL, um, Googlebot will use the value of this parameter to determine if a URL is unique. Uh, for example, uh, example.com forward slash wox.html, question mark, product ID equals 1000. Uh, that would be considered an entirely different URL from example.com forward slash wox.html, product ID equals 2000. So those two product IDs actually indicate that that's a very specific page, so they are completely different. The next option here is only URLs with the value dot dot dot, and this is really to let Googlebot crawl only those URLs where the value of this parameter here, which you can enter into the box, uh, matches this specified value. So URLs with a different parameter value won't be crawled. So you could say, for example, in this paginate instance here, only index the pages that have the parameter all. So that would list everything on that page rather than just going through each individual page listing items individually. And the final option is no URLs and this basically means Google won't crawl any URLs containing this parameter. And this is useful if your site uses many parameters to filter content. For example, telling Googlebot not to crawl URLs with less significant parameters such as price from or price to which can prevent the unnecessary crawling of content already available from a page without those parameters. Okay, I hope this was all clear and helped explain what the Google Webmaster Tools URL parameter feature is for. Best of luck.